announced that the Friar Faithful attended Petco Park at a record rate in 2022, breaking the previous record of 24 with now 25 home game sellouts. Let's hear from some fans on why they love this beautiful ballpark so much. Nick courtside, Nicole is with Dizon and Wright and their thoughts on this matchup. Thanks, Dom. You guys found the lead early. How do you think that helped your momentum throughout the rest of this game? I think it's really helpful, especially um, just starting off strong and then, you know, switching sides after that and you're up a lead. But uh, obviously they came back and I think we're, we're lucky to be able to close it because they're a good team. And Megan, what was the key to close this one? Oh, man. Um, just, just believing that we can do it and staying tough, staying positive. Um, yeah, that's, <laughs> staying positive was the biggest thing because they were, they were creeping back and, you know, it's easy to get tight. So thankfully we pulled that out. And, yeah, thanks for the fans for cheering for us. All right, well, there you have it. Stay tuned because we have mixed doubles coming up next. The San Diego Padres had an impressive postseason run last fall, advancing all the way to the NLDS. And this spring, another San Diego team made an incredible postseason run themselves. The SDSU men's basketball team made it all the way to the national championship for the first time in school history. And the city of San Diego rallied behind them. The Padres, too, showed their support. Tonight, head coach Brian Dutcher and star player Lamont Butler will be throwing out the first pitch in honor of their historic season. Kevin, you got three touchdown passes tonight, led your team to victory. What mentality did you go into this game with? I mean, we just came in here, we wanted it. We knew we knew they were lower the seed. Um, it was their it was biggest game of the year for them. We just came in here and battled and we wanted it more. Mason, you were on the receiving side of two of those touchdown passes. You also got one interception. Where do you feel like you made the biggest impact on the game tonight? It was all Kevin. He stepped up, Jackson's out, Kevin stepped up. I had to play some defense. This is my, this is my only second game on defense ever. So, just did what I could. Yeah. And for the Fred Pigskin Report, this is Nicole Beckelman. Yeah. <laughs> Did you put a bunch of time into this. How exactly do you train for these tournaments? Do you do like finger exercises? Do you lift weights? Tell us about that. Yeah, no finger exercise, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, well, one, playing a lot of pay ball. Um, I think with any sport, you just more time with, you know, in your craft, you're naturally going to get better, but. Congratulations to Larry and Ted on their enshrinement. That's going to do it for this edition of Padres POV. For the cast and crew, I'm Nicole Beckelman. See you next time. Tonight was the first time you guys were rocking these really cool golden helmet wraps. Do you think this is a good luck charm? And will we see them again next week? Uh, that's that's classified. We don't know if we'll see them again, but I think they are definitely a good luck charm. You know, I think playing playing here on this turf and wearing these helmets, whatever helmet got me on it, you know, it's always a good luck charm. So. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Will, and congratulations. You guys have been doubles partners for quite some time now. What is it about you guys that gives you guys security on the court when you guys are playing together? Tim and I, we've been friends ever since my first day that I came at Pepperdine. He kind of showed me the way because he was here one year before me. And it's just been working out, but we're also like, we're great friends off the court. It's not only on the court that it works well, it's also fixed well really off the court. So it's just, it's just fun to play with each other. Overall, it's just such a good vibe. And I'm, like, I'm can't wait to play next week as well. <laughs> Tim, he mentioned your guys' relationship off the court. How do you think that helps you guys on the court? Uh, it, it helps a ton because we, we know each other so well. Hello, high school football fans. I'm here with Connor Underhill, quarterback for Rancho Buena Vista. Congrats on the win tonight. The first play of the game, Elijah Oshima runs it in for that 71-yard touchdown run. How did that help your team's momentum for the rest of this game? I mean, we needed that because of the losses we've been having. Uh, my kid's probably one of the hardest workers on our team. He actually has a torn shoulder right now. You guys went six weeks without getting a win. What was the difference in turning things around tonight? Just hard work. Uh, I think team chemistry, obviously. All our guys are excited. Team chemistry, I think, is the main thing we needed with coaches and players, not just players. And 